What if I told you that you could get work done without working? AI is making this reality closer than ever. And today I'm gonna go over three new under the radar AI tools that I'm personally using to make money. We'll go through the intricacies of each tool, how to use them to make your side hustles more efficient, and analyze the pros and cons of each so that you can come up with an optimal strategy to make more money with less work. Let's get into it. The first tool we have is video.ai. And this is a free tool that will take any long form video you have and chop it up into bite-sized short form content with just one click. It'll find interesting tidbits from your longer video and turn it into one minute short form content complete with captions. I use this technique to batch create a ton of shorts quickly and sent them off in cold DMs to influencers, seeing if I could land a side gig cutting their shorts. Got turned down or ignored a lot, which is part of the game, but I was actually able to set up a call and close a deal with one influencer to start cutting his short form content for a fee. I get paid for the day and he doesn't know that I can do the work in half that. Here's how it works. Grab a long form video from YouTube. Today we'll use this Alex Harmozy video. We're gonna go ahead and rip this using Tube Ripper. Next, we're gonna upload the file so that the software can analyze it. Next, they give you a list of resolution options and it'll automatically format all of your shorts to these specs. This speeds up the workflow even more. And now they give you another convenient option to include social media handles on your video. I'm gonna skip this, but I do think it's a great idea if you're using this to cut down your own content and you wanna burn a watermark in. All right, done processing, let's see what we got. We've got five options here, and I like the title of this first one. Let's check it out. So there's five major areas that I- So real quick, if you do pull in a video with burned in title graphics like this one, you may have to resize the video a little bit just to get those graphics to fit. Number one is the nature of work itself. The second is how businesses operate. Okay, so right away, I'm pretty impressed by the AI's ability to scan this entire 22 minute video and recognize that in this particular segment, Harmozy is about to give five interesting talking points. It knows that this might be an interesting clip for short form content, which is totally correct. All right, super quick, I'm just gonna rearrange a couple of other things to match the frame. You shouldn't need to do this if you're ripping a podcast or something that doesn't have burned in graphics. And the last thing I'm gonna do is mess around with how the subtitles are broken up. It doesn't do a perfect job here. For instance, I don't like ending a sentence and starting the first half of the next one in one subtitle box. So I'll quickly just go in and combine all the sentences to make it a little bit cleaner. I'm hoping in the future they're able to tighten this up, but still, this is much faster than creating the entire video myself. So there's five major areas that I think it's going to completely turn on its head. Number one. Awesome, that's a lot better. And just like that, we are done. We can use this now as a proof of concept to try to land some clients. Or if you're an existing creator, this is a great way to quickly pump out content. All right, so in my opinion, this is a great entry level AI tool to supercharge your side hustle. There's no denying how easy it is to use and it's incredibly time efficient. I could make at minimum 10 of these in an hour, and if that's all I did for the gig that I landed at $20 per video, that'd be 200 bucks an hour. Now the downside is, even though it's quick, it's not all that passive, unless you're using this to generate shorts to build up an audience. And also, I would argue that in most cases, the profit ceiling for this isn't as high as the other tools we have coming. Still, it's an amazing tool, and its capability should only improve as time goes on. This next one I'm really excited for, and it's a data scraping robot called Browse AI. What it does is it creates a robot that can monitor data from any website and notify you of any changes to that website. Let's say, for example, you buy things on eBay and resell them on Amazon for a profit. You wanna be notified whenever someone lists your product, let's say model cars, on eBay. You would just take the URL of the model car search, tell the robot to watch it for changes, and it'll email you right when someone adds a listing along with all the necessary data like price. You can then decide immediately if that's something you wanna hop on and buy or not. As you can imagine, you can use this tool in so many ways to make money, but my favorite is using it to keep an eye on the behavior of highly skilled cryptocurrency traders. If you're familiar with crypto, you know that everyone's trading history is online to see on the blockchain. And I like to use a site called DBank to keep an eye on what these skilled traders are buying and selling. These crypto whales typically get information quicker than retail does, and their buy patterns can sometimes be the first catalyst of major price appreciation. 
Take this large account for example, you can see that on March 17th, he purchased a token called Joe. Taking a look at the chart, we can see that in the days after this purchase, the price shot up. If you were able to see that this account purchased that coin before everyone else figured it out, you could have made 182% profit. We want to know the second these big accounts purchase a certain asset, and we're going to use Browse AI to help us do that. Alright, so on our dashboard, we're going to set up a new robot to monitor site changes. Just a note here, this only works with Google Chrome at the moment. Now we need to enter in the URL of the page we want tracked. So we'll head over to dbank, type in a trader's wallet address. I typically find my addresses that I want to track on Twitter, but you can also look at the whales tab on dbank. Select their trading history and copy this URL over to the robot. Click start recording task. And this will now open up the URL page in Browse AI's interface. You'll see this little robot up here watching what we're doing. Now, down here is the trading history for this account. The rows at the top are the most recent trades. We're going to head over to our robot and select Capture Text. Now we can start selecting certain areas of this page that we want the robot to monitor. Any new trades this trader makes will show up in this column. So this is the area of the page we want the robot to monitor for changes. Hit Capture Visible Text, and let's go down, let's say, four rows, which will mean we can monitor his four most recent trades. After you're done selecting all the information you want monitored, hit Enter and name each section. Finish recording, then create a name for your new robot, and now you can set time intervals that you want this site to be refreshed and monitored for changes. If you're on the free version, unfortunately, you're only able to have the robot check this site for you once per day, which should be enough for some use cases. But with the paid version, you can get notified by the hour or even the minute. I suggest just try giving the free version a try, and if you decide you need more nuanced notifications, go ahead and pay for an upgraded version if you're making enough money using the product. All right, boom, we're done. We've got our robot set up. It will now monitor the most recent four trades. And right when there's activity in this wallet, you'll get an email from your robot with a list of what's changed. We can now use this information to make our own investment decisions. So personally, in the past month, I've netted about $3,200 in profit. But a super quick disclaimer, I have to say that this is not financial advice and you should really only pursue this kind of thing if you're already familiar with cryptocurrency. It's extremely risky and you need to know what you're doing. That being said, I love this tool for my strategy. It's really easy to set up and run once you know how to do it. The profit potential is immense. I also think just aside from this strategy, there are so many other ways to use this product to make money. So highly recommend getting familiar with it. A couple drawbacks, it can be a little pricey if you need more frequent updates in a day. And to get the most out of this tool, you'll probably already need to have a side hustle established. This isn't necessarily a side hustle in and of itself, but it's something that you can use to help supplement an existing one. Next up is a combination of Midjourney and Repper. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Midjourney's capabilities by now, turning a text description into awesome works of art. We're going to use Midjourney to create designs in seconds for us that we can use to sell digital products on sites like Etsy. One of the digital products selling well these days are seamless digital patterns that people can print out and use for crafting, making stationery, or scrapbooking. This account here, for example, only sells this digital paper product and has made over 75,000 sales. So the first thing we'll do is find a couple of designs to make, and we'll ask ChatGPT to give us a list of recent scrapbooking trends to get started. All right, so I see floral patterns and watercolor designs are popular. So for our first product, let's try floral watercolor prints. Okay, time to hop into Midjourney. Really important note here, there is a free version of Midjourney that you can use to try out, but you must use some form of a paid plan if you plan to sell the art or use it commercially. The free version does not come with rights, whereas any paid plan will. The cheapest paid plan is about eight bucks a month, so I went ahead and did that. Now there are a few steps to download Midjourney to get it working in Discord, and I will leave links to a couple of videos below with instructions on how to do that. Once you're in, the way you prompt the software is by typing backslash imagine, followed by the description of the art you want. So let's literally take the description ChatGPT gave us and see what happens. Dope, this looks really cool, but remember, we wanna generate seamless designs, which involves looping the same image over and over to create a larger print. Currently, this art has some weird bordering and shading around each image that would make it difficult for us to do that. We need Midjourney to spit out an image without these funky borders, and we do this by adding 
dash dash tile to the end of each prompt. And there we go, borderless tile images. Now you see that if we take one of these tiles and lay them on top of each other, we can create one cohesive, seamless design. But wait, this is an AI video. Why are we manually doing anything? Let's use another piece of free software called Repr, which is designed to automatically repeat patterns from a single image. All we have to do is upload our one tile image and the software will automatically repeat it for you in seconds. The cool thing about Repr is there are so many options on how to repeat the pattern. Feel free to play around with this on your own. It's actually really fun and cool. You can even see what your designs would look like on a 3D object, which is really handy. For our purposes today, we're just gonna stick to the basic repeat pattern. Most digital paper dimensions on Etsy are 12 inches by 12 inches and 300 DPI. So let's just make sure we choose those settings and export it. In this pack, I'm gonna include eight different designs. So I'll just quickly do the same process for seven more mid journey prompts with different pastel colors. All right, we got our eight designs here. Now we need to mock up an Etsy thumbnail. We're gonna do this with free Canva templates. If you want a full tutorial on how I go about designing with and using Canva, drop a comment. It really is a powerful free software that is also integrating AI into their workflow. All right, cool, that looks like a good thumbnail. Let's take our listing a step further and make some mockups of the designs in practical use settings with some free Canva templates. So maybe we'll show what our patterns look like on thank you cards and maybe business cards here. Once you have all your photos, you're ready to create the listing. Again, a full tutorial on this would make the video an hour long. So there's plenty of other tutorials on YouTube on how to set up an Etsy shop. But if you wanna know how I go about it personally, just let me know in the comments. Cool, we've got our first listing done. But unfortunately, you can't really just expect to throw up one shop and start raking in money. You'll have better chances of increasing your SEO with multiple Etsy listings. Over time, personally, I'm gonna plan to have at least 20 digital paper listings on the site. But for now, I've got two set up. The flowers that we made and this cool Japanese mountains design. So quick update here, after about a month, I've made a grand total of two sales. But, but some context is needed here. This is a brand new shop with only two listings. And the fact that I received 30 unique visits from people who aren't my mom is encouraging. As I create more listings, I expect these numbers to continue growing. All right, so this is kind of a tricky one. This tool and strategy probably has the highest income potential of the three I mentioned, but there is no doubt that it requires a significant amount of work up front and without guarantee of any profits, to be honest. If you do end up creating a successful store though, it can be highly passive down the line. Etsy is a major side hustle and a lot of people actually make it their full-time jobs. So don't expect it to be easy money, but if you put in the work, there's no question the ceiling is limitless. All right, that's gonna do it for today. If you stuck around to the end, don't forget to like and subscribe. Got a lot of cool stuff coming your way that you won't wanna miss. Take it easy and good luck. Peace.